On 20 December 2022, Low Tier God, better known as Dale Emanuel Wilson, received his first ever ban from YouTube. Although he's been permanently banned from Twitch a total of 8 times only to be overturned. Permanently banned from Twitter upwards of dozens of times only to continue ban evading there. This is the first time he has ever been banned from his YouTube channel, which is his primary source of content creation. Mr. Wilson has gone silent on the matter, privating his ban evading Twitter within minutes of the suspension. As for who's responsible for this? I don't know, but I have a theory. A theory that it was someone who Dale got inappropriately banned by abusing YouTube's copyright system. Yeah, I know that doesn't narrow it down. But I theorize that they struck back by sending a methodically compiled evidential package containing URLs of Dale's many, many infraction-heavy streams that he had theretofore gotten away with privating. My personal thoughts are two. One, I don't expect it to stick. This guy has nine lives on social media, and he fits a demographic that YouTube really wants more representation from. For over a decade, he's gotten away with zero repercussion for some of the most disgusting things that usually ruin most content creators. Be it posting home addresses, docs, and personally identifiable images of his non-public figure enemies like Trevor Belmont, LTG Rocks, Slayer, and even myself, which we'll get to. Be it calling all American black people stupid monkeys and a certain word that YouTube otherwise doesn't tolerate be it outright bullying people for their appearances, unsolicited, be it watching veterans commit suicide on stream and mocking them, those are just the tip of the iceberg. If YouTube turned the other way for over a decade, the pessimist in me expects this ban to eventually be overturned. Two, and this is really personal, I usually don't celebrate deplatforming, but I am laughing all the way to the bank here. This guy spent hours doxing me to his stream of nearly a thousand mentally ill boys. He repeatedly stated my name, the company I work for, my address, its address, and directed his boys, unequivocally, to bombard my HR department with phone calls and lies about me being a racist stalker of a black man, as he puts it, asking them to fire me. If you don't believe me, here's a clip and the unedited mirror is in the description so you can give a call too. I called HR today. I'm gonna call HR again tomorrow. The next day is Saturday and Sunday. I'm gonna call HR again on Monday. I'm gonna call HR again on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday until it gets an attention and it's gonna get attention now because I gave your fucking white ass your white bald ugly old looking ass plenty of motherfucking times to stop fucking with me now don't worry he failed at that because he fails at everything in life but I have to ask the question how does it feel Dale how does it feel to sweat how does it feel to have your primary income affected the way you tried to affect mine how does it feel to lose the closest thing you've ever had and ever will have to a career in your 38-year-old unaccomplished life? Not very good, I imagine. Karma's funny like that. I'd tell you to cope with more fake articles, but you should probably be saving money right now. So instead, I'm going to really help you. No joke, I have something that will actually help you a lot. I know a place that's hiring, and they're very prestigious. Cozy.tv is always looking for new content creators, baby, and you meet all of their criteria perfectly. Get fucked.